my fellow soulmates and food lovers and welcome to another episode of Eileen's Kitchen Stories. First of all, thanks so much for 1000 subscribers. I have not been able to upload for some time but I'm finally back on it. And this time you will find out about my favorite restaurants from when we traveled to Ubud Bali. Mudra Cafe. For us, the best breakfast spot in town. They serve organic and locally sourced foods with a mix of Asian and Western cuisine. The porridge, eggs Florentine and obviously the gorgeous smoothie bowls are to die for. They also serve fish and meat but no dairy products, if I remember correctly. So you can have your coffee with soy or coconut milk instead. Also, their lunch menu is awesome. Best poke bowl in town, I'd say. Pachamama. In English, Mother Earth is a Mexican-owned pescatarian restaurant. It's either strictly veggie, vegan or proper ceviche dishes that you will find on the menu. Again, this is a spot we went multiple times, it's so good. I'm just going to show you my favorite dishes, but trust me, it doesn't really matter what you order, I'm sure you'll love it. The waiters, by the way, are just hilarious. Leela and the crew are just so much fun to be around. Bata Bata, a tiny family-run restaurant on the first floor close to the monkey forest and a little bit hidden to be honest. This is really good because that's why it's not super crowded yet. They could be a go-to for special seafood, like you can get seafood pasta with squid ink or prawn nasi goreng or an awesome grilled snapper. If you get a juice, don't be surprised to find a jug with half a liter or more in front of you, all freshly squeezed mind you. They also have regular Indonesian varung dishes on the menu if you are more into that. Kismet. We don't have a lot of footage from this restaurant, but we have been several times during our two to three months in Bali. It's a vegetarian restaurant and they also offer vegan options. It's got a lovely flair and you actually light up your lamp hanging over your table if you are ready to place an order. Isn't that a cool? The first time we went, we met up with a group of friends ordering the truffle ravioli and the vegetarian lasagna. Such a shame I did not record that. Food porn. Ila Kitchen and Villa. This restaurant is a bit outside of Ubud and Penisanan where it's calm and just a great spot to enjoy an amazing sunset. Come on, look at that. The food is very delicate and they offer traditional Indonesian as well as Western food. We were surprised that this hotel slash restaurant wasn't packed with people. We even recommended it to some friends and they stayed for a couple of days and so we got to eat them more often. That was great. By the way, the next video I'm uploading is going to be a cooking session with them. Maggie Boom is the dish called. Check it out! Moksha. This vegan spot, also not in the city center, can be the real deal for you if you want to experience a good mix between experimental and down-to-earth food. I'm not a vegan and in comparison to the many other vegan restaurants and cafes in Ubud, I felt very welcomed here as it was not the super hipster kind of spot to go to. In my opinion, they could step up their flavor game for the desserts, but honestly, most of the times you will be already full after the main. Bridges. If you want to experience fine dining European food at a reasonable price, you have to check out Bridges. Ubud is the mecca for food lovers on Bali and there are many really good fine dining spots around, but the one we came back to a couple of times was Bridges. The flavor palette served is insane. You should reserve a table up front to make sure to get a spot when you want to eat out. And if you arrive a little early, you will be guided to the bar downstairs with the right in the middle of the jungle atmosphere, where they will make sure to get you salted caramel popcorn and great cocktails. Oh, and believe me, I have tried to only have one or two courses, but it's just not possible. The temptation is real, guys. Let's talk about Varung's peeps. These are local food spots serving mainly four to five different dishes at a local low price. There are a ton of them around. All the ones on Ubud we went to were great. And here are some honorable mentions. Varung Mendes with their amazing gado gado and the barbecued leg of lamb. Actually, this feels more like a restaurant than a Varung because it has a very high standard. Then we have Varung Rama with a bomb fruit platter, fresh coconut and ayam goreng. And our favorite Varung around the corner where we lived is the Kopi Deza. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of footage from this place, just a little bit of Instagram. And they even developed breakfast packages after we've been there so many times and ordering almost half of the menu. <laughs> we love you guys. So peeps, thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy my selection of favorite restaurants here in Ubud. Let me know in the comments below your favorite spots to go to. 
Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more awesome food from around the world and check out my other videos not only from Bali, but maybe you're interested in finding out about Martinique, Thailand and so on. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video guys. Bye!